and welcome to a brand new vlog. So it is currently my last day here at Nuck Tesli. If you guys haven't watched the previous two vlogs, I will have them linked below. We did something really cool yesterday. So make sure you check it out. And I'm currently just having my morning coffee here on the dock and watching the sunrise. And it's just the most beautiful thing ever, honestly. But I love calm and chill morning routines like this, where you get your morning coffee, you have some breakfast, you're by the water. Honestly, being by a body of water just brings me so much peace and joy. I feel like it's because when I was younger, I spent a lot of time on the water. My family had a boat that we'd go out on and so it just like, it just brings me a lot of peace being out here at a place like this and not to mention it's extremely beautiful. So I'm excited to show you guys around Nuck Tesli here. If you guys had watched the first vlog, you would have seen that this is a very remote resort up in northern BC that you can actually only access by float plane. Since it is more remote, you definitely feel disconnected and off the grid and it's the perfect place to come and explore. They also have a lot of hiking. That's kind of one of the main things. You can start here and do a whole bunch of these amazing hikes. We actually did a glacier mountain hike yesterday, which was really, really cool. So make sure to check out that vlog. So I'm gonna drink this coffee and we're gonna get this day started. So here at Nuck Tesla, they actually set sandwich making supplies up because one of the main things to do here is to go hiking. It's actually known for some of the best hiking in the Chilcotin area, which which is where we are now. So we actually have some fresh bread, which they make daily here. A lot of the stuff they actually make in-house, which is really, really cool. So all of our breakfasts and dinners as well, everything is homemade. So we're actually gonna go on a hike this morning and check out a really cool viewpoint area. Seeing as that is one of the main things to do here, we gotta go hiking at least once. All right, so got all my hiking stuff on, we're ready to go. We have the fire going, um, it's heating up our cabin, <laughs> nice and toasty. So we actually have a guide coming with us to do the hike. So you do get the option to do both guided or unguided hikes here, totally whatever your preference is and I guess comfort level, obviously, since we don't really know where we're going um, and we wanna make sure we're like <laughs> getting where we're supposed to go, um, we are gonna bring the guide with us and I will introduce you to him as well. His dad is actually the one that owns this outdoor experience here called Nuck Tesli. I don't wanna say resort because it's not a resort, it's more of like a, it's like a boutique hotel in a sense, but it's kind of cool because all of the meals, like breakfast and dinner are actually family style meals. So you eat with everyone else from the other cabins. So it kind of feels like one big family up here, almost like you're just staying with like an aunt or uncle at their cabin. Like that's honestly the feel up here and everyone is so extremely nice and friendly. So it's just been so nice to hang out and meet a whole bunch of people. And yeah, I'm having a great time up here. So yeah, we're gonna go get hiking and check out some of the outdoor trails. You're coming on a hike. You're coming on a hike. Oh, Jacques. Oh, he doesn't. I'm None sorry. For you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off on our hike. The four amigas, amigos. I don't. I don't know Spanish well. So we actually have the owner's dog coming with us on the hike. Her name is Tashi and the owners are actually from Israel. So he was one of the only people from Israel to ever climb, well, Mount Everest and then the seven or six other summits, which is super cool. So yeah, the story of how this whole place actually started is pretty insane. She will hike for snacks. <laughs> you're on your own hike today. What are you doing? You're free spirit. So there's actually multiple different hikes you can do here. The longest one is 26 kilometers. The hike we're doing right now would be considered a half day hike because it takes around like three hours if you're gonna stop. It's like 45 minutes there. 45 back and then obviously usually you'll stop along the way maybe have lunch and all that so you do calculate that time into it and yeah there's so many different hiking routes you can do and it's honestly so cool you really feel like you're just like in the thick of it I feel like, oh my god <laughs> I feel like a true hiker sometimes being the keyword sometimes I feel like a true hiker um, when I'm not being clumsy Oh, oh, and down. We 
we've made it on top. The viewpoint from here is actually incredible. Exhibit A. And it was about a 45 minute hike to get up here. I would say it was like moderate, just at some points because there is big boulders. So if you're older, you might have a bit of a hard time with that, but there's lots of other hikes. This first part of the hike was super easy. It was just kind of basically flat ground. Then it was a bit of an incline, but honestly worth it to reach this beautiful viewpoint here. And you can actually see Nick Tesley all the way over there. So we actually came from there, went all the way around and are now here. So I'm gonna bust open my sandwich cause I'm a little hungry and enjoy this beautiful viewpoint. Okay, do you want a piece without mustard? Is that what you're aiming for? What about tiny piece? There we go. There we go. Oh, that looks like a snack. That's better than the big hunker of a piece I gave you with mustard, right? High five. Give me five. It's a trick to be learned. <laughs> So guys, fun little fact, these trees, the reason they're bare is because they were actually struck by lightning. And it's a reason that a lot of the forest fires, if any forest fires happen around this area, it starts with lightning. Well, is that true? I feel like that's not an accurate fact. That is true. An accurate fact. That is an accurate fact. Totally, all those forest fires that you had in the past two couple of years, mm -hmm. all of them from uh, lightning. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah, that's how a lot of the forest fires here in BC start, if not all of them. And it's pretty crazy actually seeing these trees and thinking that, uh, yeah, they were all, they're dead because of lightning. on her way back to Nukatesli now and it's so funny Tashi the little dog keeps grabbing these gigantic sticks and tries to walk with them and then he'll come up from behind you but yeah it was really nice to go and hike get a bit of exercise and just be out in the nature because it's honestly so beautiful here oh. start run oh my god believe all right you guys we made it back to Nukatesli which what does it mean you told us what it means in western wind you heard it here first. When did you first start Nuck Tesla? Because your family, so this his family owns Nuck Tesla, which is obviously you guys have seen how beautiful it is. But how many years have you guys had it for? So this is the ninth year. Ninth year. Oh, yeah. amazing. Uh, yeah, this is the ninth year. It's yeah. a family business. Yeah, um, which I love. I think that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So it and it really, I was telling the vlogger earlier, it feels like you're like in a, like at a family place. Like everyone feels like family here, even like the other guests, because we all eat together and like do things together. And so it's super cool. It is. But, yeah, we love it. So check it out. I will leave everything linked below. And thank you to, he says he's taken us on two excursions now and you've been so great. So thank you. So Rob and I, oh, Tashi, how was the hike? Did you enjoy the hike? Come here, say goodbye to everyone. Tashi, come here. Oh, Tashi, oh, you did so good at hiking today. You did, you did, you did so good. Yes, yeah, so oh, you're all wet. <laughs> Anyways, Robin and I are headed back to the room. We're gonna do a quick change, get into our bathing suits and actually go into the hot tub. So they have a really cool hot tub here and they refill it every day with fresh water from the lake. So we're gonna go hop in there and enjoy that. I actually feel like a little bit sore. So I'm like, okay, I feel like this was a good workout. I was only like, like I said, like probably three hours there and back with like relaxing for a bit. So yeah, it was nice to get into the outdoors and experience one of the main things to do here at Nuck Tesla. All right, we are all ready for the hot tub. And I wanted to quickly mention, if you guys didn't know, um, the swimsuits are now live from my website. So I do have a reversible clothing and swim line out and it's perfect for travel because you get so many looks out of one piece. So on this side, we have like a nice tie-dye print and then the other side is a plain side so you can mix and match. This one is high-waisted and then we have a matching sarong with it as well. So I will leave it linked below if you guys wanna check it out and shop it for yourself. All right, so this is the hot tub right behind me here, and they actually heat it up every morning and change the water just because it's water from the lake. So yeah, I'm really excited to hop in. It's a little chilly. Um, <laughs> I was warm from the hike and now I'm cold again. And so yeah, I think we just take off the little cover there and we get on in. All right, so I think it is. Oh yeah, it feels pretty warm. It takes a while for it to heat up, but it feels like it's ready. So we just take these things off. I think they're on it so the little cover thing doesn't blow away. So it actually has to reach a certain temperature before you're supposed to get in. And I don't really know what temperature that is. We, we need Sila to come back. <laughs> okay, so you have to soak yourself before you get in. Oh, you do? Yes, but it's warm. This is warm. You soak oh, it with this okay, water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is really nice. 
Oh, you guys, this is so... Okay, this is lovely. <laughs> okay guys, so we made it in the hot tub. It's very nice and relaxing and we have a beautiful view of the water. This is honestly the best way to end the day. guys we are finishing the day how we started with a hot beverage so i have some dreamland tea here and it's honestly the perfect way to end off another amazing day here at nuck tesley so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and follow me on instagram as well and i will see you in my next vlog bye